12 hours in the car driving all the way from northern Michigan to right outside of Washington, D.C. I am finally back home. We made it. It was quite the drive. I just want to get back inside, so I'll fill you guys in on the details once we get in there. Off the porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. Summer nights, love them how they take so long. Run with the feeling of being alive. So here's the deal. Basically, you're probably wondering, Josh, first of all, why did you drive home 11 hours by yourself? Second of all, why, why are you back home alone? Well, well, I've been up in Houghton Lake, Michigan, which is where my grandparents' house is, um, for the past two weeks. As soon as I got back from Paris, I had like a day here and then went up there with the family. It was a great time to kind of relax and not have to worry about anything. and try to pump out as many videos, except the sad truth is that my camera didn't arrive for like a week and then my laptop didn't arrive for like two or three days after that. So I only had like five days to pump out all the videos you're gonna see for the next month, which uh, <laughs> was no easy task, definitely a lot of work. And I think, I don't think I got more than four hours of sleep in like the past five or six days. But I wanted to get those up for you because I will be somewhat off the grid for the next about week and a half because I, like I said earlier in the summer, I'm going to be a counselor for Camp Kesem. For those of you that don't know, Camp Kesem is a camp for kids whose parents have been affected by cancer. Um, I've been fundraising for the past like semester and now I finally have a chance to go to camp with the kids as a counselor. It's, uh, it's right before school starts, so I will not come back home between camp and school. I will finish up camp and go straight to school. So that's for the next week and a half, and which means that I need to get all of my cold stuff packed up right now, which is why I thought I would make the topic of this video leaving for college slash packing tips, all that stuff, because I guess it's kind of convenient that I'm packing up earlier than most of you guys are. So with that, I think it's time to get to work. But first, I've got some other stuff to take care of. This is my lawnmower. This is my lawn. I don't remember the last time I mowed my lawn, now that I've been at college for almost a year, but uh, it's gonna be fun. And uh, I thought I might take the advantage to do a little cinematic sequence. We'll see, I haven't done one of those in a while, especially with my new camera, so let's see how it goes. I'm begging, I'm begging, I'm begging, I'm begging you please stay. Cause that city, that city, that city, that city won't treat you my way And I'm hoping your Uber breaks down on the way as a speed Now that is a good looking yard. Um, it only took about 45 minutes. I'm absolutely covered in sweat. The bugs here are insane. I kept flying in my eyes and getting all over me. They're just ridiculous in the summer. But uh, not only did I mow the lawn, but I also accidentally ran over the newspaper that was on the foot of my driveway and got paper everywhere. So dad, if you're watching this, that will be picked up. And uh, right now I got to go take a shower because I'm just gross. So I'm gonna figure some way to pick that up, go take a shower, grab some food, and I'll see you guys when we start packing. Uh, all right guys, what's up? I'm now in my basement. I'm all cleaned up and ready to go. Please excuse the lighting. I'm literally just using this one light up here to light myself right now. When I get back there, it's even gonna be worse. It is night outside now, so no natural lighting to work with, so suck it up. Um, you're just gonna have to deal with it for this video. <laughs> Basically, I'm in my basement because this is where I have stuck all of my college stuff in our guest bedroom. It is all in here, lined up against the wall. All of this, and it has been here since practically the time that I arrived. So I'm gonna have to spend the next couple hours going through it, seeing what clothes I wanna bring back, what supplies I wanna bring back, what decorations and everything. So, uh, and then at the end, what I'll do, you know what, here, this is what we'll do. I'll do a time lapse of me doing this, cause that's artsy. And then I'll find some of the important key items, some of the essentials, 
um, and I will explain that and explain kind of my whole process when it comes to packing for college and what to bring to college. I have made videos for what to bring to college. I've already edited them. They're uploaded to YouTube and scheduled to go up within the next week or two. You will see those soon, but this will just act as kind of a general overview. So with that, let's start the time lapse. So here's where we're at. We uh, just finished going through both of those boxes. Those were just full of stuff that I had thrown, just th tossed into there when I was moving out and it was just a mess, a lot of random stuff in there. I've divided it on the bed. One thing I recommend doing with your stuff is just dividing it into sections and putting each of those sections into a plastic bag separately. Because what you'll find is when you get to your dorm room, you don't know how it's gonna be set up. You don't know where everything's gonna go, but it's super easy if you have everything divided. That way you can at least, you know, put them in the right part of the room and you don't have to worry about everything being scattered around in like the bottom of a box, which was the case for me when I was moving in and it just takes so much longer. So the, here's, here's what we got. So we've got everything divided, you know, water bottles. We've got a bunch of tech stuff, keyboards, docking station, um, clothes. Um, Here's some just memory knickknack things that I'm gonna bring. Oh, this right here is the first solder board I ever soldered at the seed. Focus, come on. Um, it's literally just a light bulb with a resistor, but I was pretty proud of it at the time. Um, just old tickets, stickers, stuff like that. Um, then we have all my desk knickknacks. I got my Raspberry Pi, um, Rubik's Cube for of course, you gotta do some Rubik's Cube magic. I'm not very good at solving them. Um, my electrical engineering water bottle. We got stuff that goes on the wall. We got ROTC stuff. By the way, this exercise ball right here, um, this was a, a gift from a fan. I, I had the unboxing on video, but I lost it. When I lost my computer, I lost the footage. I was gonna put it in uh, an upcoming video. So I wanna thank Eric for sending me that. Um, he wrote a really nice long letter too. Um, by the way, if any of you guys ever wanna send me stuff, the PO box is in the description. Um, feel free to, um, maybe I'll open it in a video. And next time I promise I won't lose the footage, okay? <laughs> and then we got magic stuff and of course, snacks. So I'm gonna bag all this up, um, put it in the boxes separated, and then I'm probably gonna start working on this massive pile of clothes and all these shoes. By the way, here's my fridge and all my office supplies. Those are gonna go into a bag too. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty, we're getting pretty close. Um, it's going well. Um, hopefully, we'll be almost done by the end of the night. So at the end of the day, it's all about individual organization. <clears throat> oh, pizza time. Like I said, my uh, my family's gone and they've been gone for like the past three weeks. So the fridge is absolutely empty. There's no food. I don't wanna go out and buy something. So we're, I dug through the back of the freezer, found a party pizza and uh, that's dinner. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish eating this and then we'll get back to packing. Once you're done organizing all your little knickknacks and all the small things into plastic bags and loading them into boxes, I recommend starting with your clothes next. Um, basically, um, you're going to want to pack your clothes into duffel bags. By the way, I just wanna point this out that most of this packing advice applies to somebody who's able to pack all their stuff into a car and bring it up. If you're coming from international or you're coming from across the country and you're just bringing a bunch of suitcases, um, good luck. Same thing applies, just like do it in a suitcase rather than boxes or duffel bags. So all my clothes will go into duffel bags. Um, so I have like three, three or four like decent sized duffel bags. I'm just gonna pack all my clothes in there, label what clothes are in there. And uh, honestly, that's about it. If you guys wanna see, here, I'll give you guys a quick tour of some of the, the essentials here. We got the fridge. We have a lamp that also has room for organizing stuff. Let me zoom out. We have a lava lamp, always essential. Over here we have a laptop rest so you can put your laptop in your lap and it'll rest on a stable surface and we have a basketball goal and ironing board for rtc and then a whiteboard whiteboard is definitely something i recommend um, just to write down thoughts write down your schedule for the day it's, it helped me out a lot and i always kept good notes up there um and then some sort of lamp 
a collapsible chair is always great. There we have our nice big floor rug. Just stuff like that. Like I said, I already have a video filmed where I talk about the college essentials and what you should bring and what most people forget about bringing for college. Like I said, that'll be coming out within next week or two. Honestly, that's about it for my current packing tips. I'm gonna keep working, but I'll catch you guys later. So, uh, looks like most of it's finished. Everything's labeled, organized, stacked nicely. And the monitor, microwave, fridge. Everything seems to be good to go. So, I'm just hoping that I didn't forget anything, because if I did, I'm gonna be in a world of hurt when I actually get onto campus. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to put together. It's kind of something that I was thinking about on the car ride home. Thought it'd be great to bring to you guys. Hopefully you learned a little bit about packing for college if you're doing it for the first time this year. It's not easy. Um, this wasn't meant to be an all intensive guide. It was just kind of be a general overview of like how I go about it and some of the stuff that I was bringing. Like I said, more videos are coming in the next week, two weeks about what to bring to college college essentials, what not to bring to college, uh, making the most of your first weeks, making friends in college, countless videos that I've already filmed and edited that are literally scheduled to go up as we're speaking right now. Along with that are the rest of the Paris vlogs. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first two. If you have, that's good because the first two, you know, the first two were basically me just complaining the entire time. The rest of the vlogs are actually really, really good and I'm really proud of them. Um, especially the World Cup ones and some of the ones towards the end. So stay tuned for those. Those will keep coming with the other back to school uh, type videos. So I'll probably film one more vlog type video tomorrow with some of my friends. We'll talk about college freshman advice and tips for you guys. That'll be up sometime soon. Um, I'm trying to finish up all this editing because like I said, I'm about to go off the grid to Camp Kesem and I won't be able to do any of this for about a week and a half, literally until I get to school on the 22nd. So I'm trying to pump out as much as I possibly can for you guys while I'm gone. And with that, if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up down below. It helps me and supports the channel a lot more than you think. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I will try to get back to you and with that. See you guys in the next video.